This is Ariane Harandi, director of the film The Big Day, and you're watching Eye on Business. Just been a film major, uh, graduated at Chapman University uh, a couple of years back, and just been working on different projects. And then one day we realized uh, no matter how many shorts we do, nobody's going to come hand me $10 million to go make a film. So we kind of had to do it on our own. And this is our project. This is kind of us putting everything, everything we have into it to go out there and try to uh, make, make our first feature film. And we are combining the best elements of a bachelor party uh, movie and the wedding film. To, so kind of you can, you can enjoy it, like it's, it's got a little hint for, a little bit of something for everybody. And it all takes place hours before an elegant wedding where the groom wakes up to realize that the, the stripper from the night before is actually a hooker. And having slept with one of the groomsmen, she refuses to leave the wedding venue until she is paid. And obviously there's no money to be found. So they're desperately trying to hide her from the bride, the bride's eccentric bridesmaids, and uh, the bride's father and all that. And then everything kind of goes uh, even worse when the, awesome. yeah, when the hooker's uh, vertically challenged pimp shows up and starts making these outlandish demands. And then meanwhile, on the girl's side, we got a suicidal bridesmaid, a, a pregnancy scare, and a whole lot of stuff. And that's just the beginning. We kind of start taking it up from there, and up and up and up. Well, uh... First, it was important for us to write smart. Uh, we we knew that we weren't going to have a ton of money to work uh, work with, so we wanted to write something that would that could all kind of take place in one location. And we always, I always wanted to tell this wedding story, just things that, like the theme of the film. I mean, on the surface, a lot of, of fun, a lot of funny stuff. But the theme of the film is it really asks the question: Is there such a thing as uh, the perfect love? Does, does a perfect love exist? And the answer is clearly no. <laughs> so, you know, our characters kind of have to learn that love isn't perfect, that people aren't perfect, but it's life's imperfections that make it worth living. It's uh, like when, you, when you're with the right person, all of life's imperfections become adventures. So, you know, so that's what our guys have to learn, and that's the kind of the story that I wanted to tell, but I, I'm, not, I'm not too big on romantic films. I wanted to tell a comedy. <laughs> I wanted to really sell this with, uh, with comedy. Uh, I was at Chapman University, uh, just, I'm, I'm a film fanatic. Let's start from that. I love movies. The escapism of a film, you just pop in a movie, just escape the real world for a couple of hours. And, while I, and you know, I realized just watching movies isn't enough. I wanted to make movies. So I Chap went to Chapman, had a great time, but what I was, while I was there, I just wanted to bring the best of the best close to me the best producer, the best cinematographer, the best sound designer, and that's kind of who I have with me, and we've kind of been working together on a few projects, and now this is our crew going to the future. So we all work together uh, on a several several different projects, so we all work really well together, collaborate really well together, and film as a collaborative art form. Well, for the last two years, we've been working on the script, just really perfecting the script, making sure that the characters are funny, making sure that the story is great, the characters are well developed, the story flows well, there's no plot holes, and you know, there's no, no parts that are super slow and boring, things like that. So that we've been working on the script for two years. Now comes the hard part of really putting everything together in pre-production, which is uh, why we just launched our crowdfunding campaign. We're looking forward to the community for a little bit of help to uh, really try to make this film a reality. Uh, most films in Hollywood cost about $20 million to make, and that's a low-budget film. Uh, we're trying to make this film on about $20,000. And we're putting, uh, and we're trying to raise $20,000, and we're putting in a lot of our own money. Whatever savings we have, we're putting into this film. But we're hoping that $20,000 uh, comes to us, and the way we wrote the film, we made sure that it's possible to do it in $20,000, and we can make an amazing film. Our goal, like, with $20,000, we can make this film something that when you watch it in theaters, you won't be able to tell the difference between our film and the big budget. Film. I think uh, we joke that whoever watches this film will get something out of it. Whether you're about to get married, been married for years, or about to get a divorce, you're going to love this film. So, and having the groom's story and the bride's story completely, they, they, they both share equal amount of screen time. And so, so that, that kind of sets our film apart. Whereas normally you either watch a bachelor party film where you're just following the guys or you watch a wedding film where you're following the girls. We give you both. So whether you're, you're you can take your date to this film and you'll both truly enjoy it. So after that, we're going into production. Hopefully this summer we're going into production and we have our cast together. We have an amazing cast. And uh, after production, we're going to spend, some, uh, spend a, good, a good deal of time editing and all that good stuff. Once the film's completely done, 
uh, we have our kind of uh, plan A, B, and C as far as getting it out there, and all of them kind of result in people watching it. The main goal is to get it in front of as many eyes as possible. Uh, our main uh, main guy is played by Hunter C. Smith. He's playing Mike, and he's a guy I just well, finished working with on a short film that we did, and he's also a stunt cho uh, choreographer. So he's a great actor, great comedy actor, but then he's great with uh, action as well. So at the end of the film, a little hint hint of what's coming, he really pulls something fun there. Um, but yeah, he's... Uh, the, all our actors are kind of up and coming actors, and we kind of we saw a ton of people for this film, and we really chose people who we thought were, were will do a great job with this film. But also, when when people see them, they'll be like, "This kid's gonna make it. This 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 is the next X, Y, and Z." Uh, our our main female uh, character, Jenny, is played by Madeline Johnson. She uh, she's actually a Chapman alumni as well. Yes. We have we have so many Chapman alums in this film. <laughs> She's a Chapman alum. She's, uh, she's been doing, she's been kind of, after graduating Chapman, she's kind of been taking Hollywood by storm and just getting herself out there. Same with uh, Annie Truix, who's, uh, who's kind of getting, uh, getting out there. They're all, like, all our actors are, people are kind of going out there. There's a lot of, there's some, there's, there's it's going to be a lot of uh, just on the surface, a lot of things that are just things you haven't seen before. Or if you think you've seen it, we're doing a new take on it. But at the end of the, at the end of the day, it's, it's got heart behind it. It's got a true message about love. For more information, please check out thebigdaymovie.com.